Here are the best places to visit and top things to do in Ecuador. Be sure to stay until the end because we'll reveal the attractions many tourists miss during their visit. Number 17. Go Whale Watching in Salinas Whale watching in Salinas might be one of the most exhilarating experiences you can have during your visit to Ecuador. These majestic creatures often travel along Ecuador's Pacific coast to mate and give birth in warmer waters before making their way back north. The migration is a rare opportunity to see them up close, so don't forget your camera. July to October is the best period for whale watching, and Salinas is the best place. This experience is worth adding to your bucket list if you're traveling to Ecuador in the right season. Number 16. Ride the most difficult railway ever built The Devil's Nose Train is an amazing feat of human engineering located on the Guayaquil-Quito Railway. It is considered to be the most difficult railway ever built and is one of the most thrilling train rides you could ever have. The insane combination of steep grades, sharp curves, and multiple switchbacks make this railway a fun challenge for even the most experienced travelers. That's why people from all around the world come to ride it every year. The views on the ride are incredible. You'd see waterfalls, rivers, and gorges, so make sure to grab the window seat on the right side and enjoy the breathtaking views of the Andes Mountains. In the past, passengers were able to ride on the roof of the train, making the experience much more thrilling. But due to some accidents, you can only ride inside the train now. You could take the Devil's Nose ride from the town of Alausi and it would cost you around $35. Number 15. Summit Earth's Highest Point All around Ecuador, beautiful volcanoes dot the landscape. One such volcano stands out among its peers as the highest point in the country, Volcán Chimborazo. Despite being shorter than Mount Everest, Chimborazo's location at the equator's bulge means that its peak is the furthest point from the center of the Earth's core. In other words, the summit is the highest place on Earth. This makes it a uniquely awe-inspiring climb. The hike to the summit is surprisingly short. It takes just two days. To reach its peak, you would need technical ice climbing gear along with a bit of physical fitness. The hike starts at Rio Bamba, where you would begin your journey through rock and ice to reach the top. The views from the summit are definitely worth the challenge. Watching the sunrise from the closest point on Earth to the sun is an experience like no other. Number 14. Ride along the beautiful waterfall route. A bike ride along the waterfall route in Baños will leave you with memories of the breathtaking scenery, the mist from the waterfalls on your face, and the fresh smell of nature. Along the ride, you're expected to pass by some of the most breathtaking waterfalls, including Cascado El Goyan, Cascada El Manto de la Novia, and Pailon del Diablo. You could stop at any point for a little rest or a photo. The ride isn't difficult, but does require some stamina if you're planning to do it all the way. You can rent a bike from the town center. The price ranges from $5 to $10 for the whole day. Number 13. Relax among Ecuador's best beaches. With year-round sunshine and pristine white sand, Ecuador's beaches are some of the finest in the world. There are many beaches in Ecuador to choose from, but if you're looking for a laid-back vibe, then Montanita is the best bet for you. Why? Because of two main reasons, nightlife and surfing. The people of Montanita love to party, and they do it well. It also has a ton of restaurants, bars, and clubs for you to enjoy, and there's always something going on which makes it so fun. Another beach is Kanoa, which is perfect for surfing, swimming, or simply lying back on the beach and enjoying the sun. This beautiful stretch of beach welcomes sunbathers and fishers alike with its warm waters and clear blue skies. If you're a wildlife enthusiast, then head over to the Tortuga Bay Beach. Surrounded by a tropical forest, Tortuga Bay offers visitors a dazzling white sand beach and crystal blue waters where you can swim with sea turtles and marine iguanas. Ecuador has a beach for everyone. Number 12. Hike Ecuador's Most Popular Trekking Route Quilatoa Loop is the most popular trekking route in Ecuador because it culminates in the beautiful Quilatoa Crater Lake. You can start your hike in the village of Sikchos. The trek is tough, but it's well signposted and well worth the effort. The route offers you a chance to witness traditional farming practices, visit indigenous communities, as well as enjoy some breathtaking views along the journey. Make sure to bring your camera and capture those amazing moments. The best time to do the Kilatoa trek is during the dry season from June to September. There are guest houses along the trek, so there's no need to bring a tent and food supplies. Alternatively, you could do a day trip to the Kilatoa Lake without the multi-day trek. Number 11. Explore UNESCO Historic Centers at Quito and Cuenca 
Quito's historic center holds many treasures including museums, churches, and other attractions. This gives you a glimpse into the history of Quito and is a great place for history lovers. Even if you're not into history, it will not take you long to appreciate the beauty of colonial buildings. If you stay here, then rest assured you'll see something new every time you walk down the street. It's easy to find your way around because everything is within walking distance. Cuenca's historic center was also declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its rich and diverse collection of buildings that combine Spanish colonial and indigenous styles dating back to the 16th century. From beautiful churches to murals to hidden courtyards, there are so many things to see. It's a great place for families as there are plenty of shops and parks, and you'd be able to find all of Cuenca's key attractions in this area. The food here is also good. It's a melting pot where you can get everything from traditional Andean dishes to pizza and sushi. Number 10. Go bird watching in the Cloud Forest. Mindo Cloud Forest is one of the most biodiverse places on Earth, and it's not hard to see why when you go bird watching there. There are over 500 species of birds, and depending on when you visit, you might see some of them. Tourists visit this place specifically to spot the Andean Cock of the Rock bird also known as Gallo de la Peña. It's a beautiful red bird, famous for its strange appearance and bouncing bobble-like head. You can also join a birding tour with the local guide for a better experience. Don't forget to bring your binoculars to spot the parrots, toucans, quetzals, and umbrella birds. Number 9. Hike up Cotopasi Volcano and Bike Down Cotopasi Volcano sits in the heart of Ecuador's Andean Mountains and is the second highest peak in the country. Hiking this trail offers breathtaking views at every turn. The hike can be challenging and you'd need to have some acclimatization and glacier hiking experience. However, it takes just two days to reach the summit. An easier option is to take a smaller hike to the snow line and have some hot cocoa at the refugio. Biking downhill is a popular activity on the Cotopasi volcano. The ride down is an adrenaline pumping experience, almost as if you're on a roller coaster, feeling every bump and undulation of the road. The ride offers mesmerizing and breathtaking views at every turn. You might also spot some wild horses along the way. The bike ride ends at the Laguna Limpia Pungo, which is a pretty lake you should definitely check out. Number 8. Shop at South America's Largest Outdoor Market Otovalo Market is one of the largest outdoor markets in South America. Every day, thousands of people flock to Otovalo to shop, eat, and enjoy Ecuador's vibrant culture. Whether you're looking to buy crafts or food products, there's a little something for everyone at Otovalo Market. You should visit the market on Wednesday and Saturday as that's when the market spreads into the surrounding streets. The market can be an overwhelming experience. With all the colors, smells, and sounds, it's a sensory overload. If you're looking for souvenirs from your travels, this is the place to go. You'll find everything from traditional clothing, handmade jewelry, to food and knickknacks. While you're there, remember to pop by the nearby Otovalo Animal Market. There are hundreds of animals spread out over many acres, including horses, cows, chicks, and guinea pigs for cooking. While we wouldn't recommend buying animals here, it is an eye-opening experience. Number 7. Swing off the end of the world Imagine your toes hanging over the precipice and your heels dangling over nothingness. That's not a dream. That's exactly what you can experience in Baños, where you go to swing off the end of the world. What could be more exhilarating than this? It's a must-do activity in Ecuador, and if you're looking to get some awesome photos for your Instagram, then it's surely the place for you. The swing has safety cables and a lock-in seat, so it's completely safe. The best time to visit this swing is on a bright sunny day, so you can enjoy the mesmerizing views of the Tungurawa volcano in your background. Number 6. Explore the Amazon Jungle The Amazon rainforest in Ecuador is home to some of the densest plant and animal life in the world, so it's no surprise that many tourists come here to get a glimpse of the tropical trees and colorful birds in their natural habitats. Here, you can also do activities like whitewater rafting, canoeing, kayaking, and hiking. The Cuyabeno Wildlife Reserve is one of the best places to spot wildlife, while Tena is the best place for rafting through the Amazon. The people who live in the Amazon are a diverse group with an astonishing mix of cultures and languages, rituals, and traditions. Most of them allow outsiders to visit their homes as well. It's truly a land of adventure and discovery, where everything you know about wildlife will be changed by the sheer magnitude of what you see. Number 5. Stand on the Middle of the World Line 
the Middle of the World Monument near Quito should be on your bucket list as it's one of the most interesting attractions in the world. The monument is located exactly on the world's equator and is marked by a yellow line. It gives you the opportunity to stand on both hemispheres at the same time, with one foot in the north and one foot in the south, so don't forget to take a picture there. The monument is located in a park with green spaces, trees, and flowers. There are also restaurants nearby and shops that sell handicrafts and souvenirs for tourists. At night, it's lit up with different colors to represent the Earth's 24-hour cycle, and there's an entrance fee to the park that would cost you $5. Number 4. Take a Dip in Banos' Volcanic Thermal Pools Taking a dip in Banos' Volcanic Thermal Pools is an experience you won't soon forget. It's a popular destination for those seeking to relax and rejuvenate their bodies and minds. The water in the Baths of Banos is said to be sacred and contain minerals that help to soothe your skin, among other health benefits. The locals even say that they've seen the Virgin Mary at nearby waterfalls. There are many different options for a thermal bath in Banos, but La Piscina de la Vergen is the most popular and cheapest option. It has three large pools of different temperatures and only costs two to three dollars per person. There are several restaurants surrounding the pools. Make sure to enjoy a nice cocktail or an appetizer while you veg out at the pool. Number 3. Climb up Quito's Basilica del Voto Nacional The Basilica del Voto Nacional in Quito is one of the most visually striking churches you'll ever see. Inside, the cathedral features incredibly intricate stonework and centuries-old paintings that are both beautiful and chilling. Climbing this church gives you one of the best views of the city, and it's a breathtaking experience not to be missed. You can get access to the church for just a mere $2, which allows you to enjoy the architecture and get up close to the stone gargoyles. The stairs up the cathedral are steep, but it's worth it when you reach the top and overlook the incredible views of the city and the surrounding mountains. Number 2. Hike Ecuador's Own Inca Trail the Inga Pirca is an Inca ruin located in Ecuador's northern coastal highlands, not far from the city of Cuenca. Although it was once an important center of worship and pilgrimage, Inga Pirca today has been repurposed to a national park and archaeological site that attracts visitors from all over the world. Hiking through this historic monument will give you insight into the legacy of the Incas. Inga Pirca is one of the best places in the country to join the Inti Raimi celebrations, where Indian people give thanks to Pachamama or Mother Earth for the harvest. The trail is a three-day, two-night hike that starts near the village of Archupias, with gorgeous views of the surrounding mountains and valleys. Number 1. Get up close with wildlife at the Galapagos Islands A visit to Ecuador would not be complete without a trip to the Galapagos Islands. The incredible islands off mainland Ecuador are one of the most scenic locations you'll ever visit and are especially known for their abundant wildlife. Cruising in the Galapagos allows you to visit the inhabited islands and a chance to experience more remote parts of the region. A land-based trip is a more budget-friendly option suitable for backpackers and mid-range travelers. They require a bit more planning but offer an opportunity to stay on the main islands while joining day trips to see wildlife and take part in hiking, snorkeling, and other activities. Some of the animals you can get up close to include blue-footed boobies, sea lions, land iguanas, and giant tortoises. Click here for more tips while traveling in Ecuador.